everybody it's Sherry and I wanted to show you a few cards that I made uh, as many of you know I've always made cards for Mariah's teacher and she is a fanatic about flamingos has been a flamingo lover for I don't know probably the, well as long as I've known her which is like the last 10 years so <coughs> long before they were cool guys and so I was gifted this paper and some brads and um, some spare parts clips when um, with one of my entries for my challenge. I'm sorry. I don't know where my head is today. And so I used everything I used except for the you know the card base and uh, and the white for the inside is from that very sweet lady so this is the first one and I used let's see if I can show you what I used for this one I used mama elephant blessed for this one and then I also did some that are from Mama Elephant Hello Friends Wishes and but this one is from The Blessed and then I carried the line on across with my Copic marker and then put the um, the I took the back off and put some pop dots now it doesn't raise it up any higher because when you take the things off it it gives you a space for a little pop dot so it's still sitting flush on the card and the last time I gave her cards I uh, Jen Callie who is or Jen who is Jen Callie 78 here on YouTube she had found some gold flamingos oh my golly the lady went crazy she thought that would just just be on one and then when she found out it was on all of them she was just you know tickled to death so I decided to go ahead and use some of those brads as part of her card. So here's the first one and it says, I feel so lucky to know you. And I used some of my Stampin' Up right there. What are they called? Edgelets from Stampin' Up. And there's like two or three sets in there. And so this is the first set and I went and put the the flamingo paper back just a little bit so you can see the white and then you see what looks like you've got a black card base and then when you open it up it's just attached or it's just showing what is at the the bat, the bottom of this one and then I used man I didn't realize how much I used and then I used this stamp set from Recollections. They had them out last year at Valentine's Day. So I used it and I stamped with Blushing Bride ink on the inside of all of the cards. And I love, let me see, see I love how that black looks and it looks like you're going to open it up to a black card and you see the white inside. I love that. Now this one I did um, a note with another Brad and this just says lucky you're in my life and the little lines five extended them so they went all the way across and then this one has the flamingo but it's shorter it's a shorter space because when I when I die cut this I really wasn't I was just not thinking that I only should have just taken off a tiny bit and I took off like I don't know one third of the card <laughs> but that's all right I left it white on the inside and she can write over the flamingo it's so light and um, she won't have any trouble and then here's the third one and this one just says I consider myself lucky to know you and then you open it up like that and that is the scallop border for this one then this one has that kind of border and let me see if I can get them all in and then the third one 
had that kind of border. So I, that, that was fun. It was unique for me. And then I made her four other ones. And I'm debating on whether I should do one more card. Because it seems kind of wonky to do a set of seven. I don't know. I don't know why that's bothering me. But it's bothering me. And this is the one, the Hello Friends. And I, oh, I forgot. I used Recollections Detail Embossing Powder. Now, guys, I had a problem with this. Let me see. This is one of them. Okay. I don't know if you're going to be able to see. But it's it's dull right there. And then it's, it's maybe shiny over here, but then it could be dull right next to it. And I've never had that happen. And this is a new bottle, a new thing of, for at least new for me. I just got it maybe a month ago. And I know it doesn't go bad that quick. So if anybody knows if I did something wrong, if you could help me figure that out, I would appreciate it. And I'll tell you what I did. I stamped it once. And somehow I messed it up when I was going to put the embossing powder on so since I had the STD my husband made me I just went ahead and stamped over the embossing powder that was already dry that I'd already heat set stamped over it again and um, Versamark ink and then redid this so that might be what I did wrong I don't know but I know I've layered uh, embossing powders before and never had that problem but this one says hello friend I miss you that is all and then I stamped that on the inside and what I'm gonna do is cut out little pieces of paper to go in here and I'm gonna clip them underneath here and I'm gonna try to put at least two maybe three sheets under inside each one of the cards and then that way she can write on the paper send it to whoever and then they can pass it on to another person and yet they can still keep the little personalized note so I thought that was a neat idea and I love this those are so cute thank you so much for those I think she's going to flip and here's another one and this one just says I will always have this piece of my heart that smiles whenever I think about you and same thing on the inside same little clip this one says, I just wanted to say hello to brighten up your day. <laughs> I like that one. And there's the flamingo. This one, it turned out really good. For some reason, last year when I used this, it had like a bubble spot. I don't know, but it's not doing it this year, so I'm happy. And then this one says, um, may today be filled with smiles. And then we've got our flamingo and our paper clip. So these four, I'm going to, like I said, put the paper clip or put the paper underneath the paper clip. And I have two more of the paper clips, but really couldn't figure out how to attach them with the cards this way because then they make it a little wide, wonky like. And I could do it maybe here on this side, but you know, or this side, but then it covers up. Well, I guess I'd have to do it on the right to not cover up the flamingo. So, I don't know, guys. If you if you can help me, you know, figure that out, how I could incorporate these last two, because I really love them, and I'd love to figure out how to incorporate them into these cards. If you could help me, I would appreciate it. And these are my cards. Let me know what you think also about the number seven. Do you think seven cards are all right, or should I do you know, eight, or should I cut it down to six? I just feel kind of funny, given seven. I don't know what my problem is. It feels like I shorted her one. <laughs> I don't know why. So, if you all could uh, leave your comments below letting me know what you think about that, I would greatly appreciate it. Thank you, guys. As you can probably tell, I'm sick. Mariah's been sick. She decided to give it to me out of the kindness of her heart. And, uh, She's taking her antibiotics. She's going back to school. <laughs> I can't. She's driving me crazy. She wants out of this house. But uh, I don't want her to be around anybody till she's had her antibiotics for 24 hours. So if you could keep us in your prayers so that we don't 
spread our illness to anybody else and that um, not only Mariah but I and Danae recover quickly from it. So thanks for visiting me today guys. I hope you like these cards. If you do, give it a thumbs up and leave a comment below. Thanks for visiting me. Bye.